This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Aloha, I'm Carol Monley, and this is Education Matters on Think Tech Hawaii. I'm here today with my guest, Brianna Vides, and we're going to talk about internships. And uh, Brianna has had the experience of being our spring intern here in Think Tech, and welcome. Brianna. Thank you, Carol. You don't have to be so formal with me. I saw you outside. I work here. <laughs> Relax, okay? <laughs> okay, well, thank you. <laughs> so, Brianna, you are a freshman at HPU. Yes. At Hawaii Pacific University, which is right across the street. So, if we look at the camera and we look yeah. at the uh, screen. I live right there. Right there, yes. and you face <laughs> the harbor. Yes, I do. It's a beautiful campus, Hawaii Pacific University, is right across the street from ThinkTech. Mm -hmm. And so you're a freshman, but where are you from? Are you from Hawaii? No, I'm originally from California, Los Angeles area, specifically Santa Clarita. Everybody knows us because of uh, there's a Six Flags like uh, down the street from where I live. So if you know Six Flags in Santa Clarita, that's where I live. <laughs> okay. And then how did you come to Hawaii? How did you pick HPU? Um, <laughs> that's an interesting question. I get that a lot, and I always tell people, I didn't really choose HPU, HPU kind of chose me. Um, when I took my SATs, I uh, like checked a little checkbox that said, um, if you want schools to contact you based off of the score that you got and everything, um, please check here. So I did that. And so because of that, I got a lot of schools emailing me waivers and stuff to apply. But I didn't really you know, think about it or anything because I kind of had this idea that I would stay in state. I'm very close with my family, so I never really saw myself going really, really far away from them. Um, but the schools in California, nothing, nothing really worked out. The mm -hmm. ones that I got accepted to, I didn't really see myself going there. So I got a, a waiver from HPU saying apply here for free, and I spent all this money on other applications, and I was like, why not? It's free. So I did, and then I saw that they had an, an honors program, so I applied to that, and I got in. And the money was here for me, so I just, it worked out. I was like, going to Hawaii can't be that bad, right? <laughs> People do it for vacation all the time. And you got a um, dorm room right on the water. Yes, Not too many schools nice. can offer you that. Yeah. So tell me, how's your experience been at HPU? Um, it's definitely been a different experience from what I thought it was going to be. I've noticed HPU is really different from most colleges. Like, and like, I don't know if it's just like a media. I don't think it's a media thing because I do see like some of my friends at other schools, like on the mainland, they'll go out and like they'll party and they'll do all like the typical college stuff. We don't really do that here, so some of the kids don't really like it because we don't have that. But there's so many awesome like adventures here, which is great for me because I'm not the kind of person that I like to do that kind of stuff. I'd rather like go on weird random adventures and I can totally get that here. Well and that really brings us to how you got to Think Tech Hawaii, right? So tell yeah. tell our audience about how you got to Think Tech Hawaii as our spring intern. So I arrived at Think Tech Hawaii completely by chance. Um, one of my professors, uh, he's, he's actually my honors professor, he does a show here with Jay, David, um, Professor David Ann. He's Pro a history professor. Professor John David Ann. Yes. Uh -huh. He does a uh, he co-hosts with Jay, and he, he does a guest appearance every now and then. So for his class, we're doing um, a video project, uh, video project. And because uh, he does the show here, he knew that bringing us here would be a good opportunity experience to show us how all this stuff works. And so we came. Jay was here. He was talking to us as a class. And just everything he was talking about, Think Tech, I was like, wow, this would be such an awesome place to work. because. I'm one of those people where I have like a really wide variety of like interests and media is kind of what I want to do with my life. So it seemed like put, putting two and two together like it would be perfect for me and I love learning. So you just watch the shows and you learn all this weird random stuff like I'll, I'll sit here being stage manager and I'll learn things that I never knew could ever be like I, I knew knowledge, or, yeah, useful, or I gained knowledge that I never would have if I hadn't worked here. So what was the class you had with Professor David in? So um, every semester, we're required to take um, an honors class as being part of the honors program. It, it's instead of us having to take GE, so I don't have to take like regular like writing or math or anything else. I just take the stuff for my major, and then I take the honors classes. So. Um, this semester with um, David Ann, all, all our honors classes are co-taught by two people in completely different fields. 
So last semester, um, I got taught by my two professors. One was um, a psychologist. The other one was in the communications department. This semester, David Ann's a history guy, and my other professor is a, he's a geologist. I see. So, and, and so the actual course that you were taking with Professor David Ann was a history course? So, yes. So in the beginning, it's, it was a geology course. So it's like divided into three sections. I see. So the first couple of weeks, we were learning about geology and volcanoes here in Hawaii. We did a lot of really cool field trips. We went to go look at the poly and stuff like that. Um, then after that was David Ann's section, which is a lot of like, it's history of the Pacific, which was really cool. I never thought it would be like that interesting. We learned a lot of like Hawaiian stuff and about how the entire like Pacific connects. It's this really huge powerhouse, which I would have never known. Um, there's so much stuff going on here and it's really important to the entire world. Like you have us, you have China, you have Japan, you have Russia over there. Just and then all these like other smaller countries that all play a part in different things. Right. There's a lot of stuff going on in China right now, which I know from, from working here and all the shows that everyone does. So it's, it's really cool because the knowledge I gain in class kind of connects to the knowledge that I gain here. Of course. So um, well, let's go back then. So you were in class with Professor David Ann. He brought you here. You met with Jay. Mm -hmm. And then how did that evolve into an internship? Um, it was actually really casual, which kind of freaked me out. I was like, is this, is this OK? Is this allowed? Um, after, so everyone kind of filed out of the room. Jay was still sitting here because he was working on, on the computer, like um, working with FileMaker and coding and such. And so uh, I, you know, everyone left. I approached him. I was like, I would love to do an internship here. Would that be, is that okay? He was like, yeah, we would love to have you. We're actually looking for an intern right now. I was like, okay, great. He was like, um, just give me your name, number, email, uh, and, and, and we'll, here we are. we'll get back to you. I was like, okay. At that point, he was actually, that was when he was going on his Australia trip. So he was saying, uh, he told me about you. He was like, um, my partner, Carol Mon Lee, is going to get back to you on this. But I promise we're going to have something for you. I was like, OK. I was so excited. I was like waiting with anticipation. And then you emailed me, told me to come in. We had this, it was kind of like an interview, <laughs> but it was more like a really casual conversation. And then I was not expecting to work that day. <laughs> And so like after our conversation, you're like, OK, you can, you can go with Cindy and start doing the stage managing stuff. And I was like, OK, <laughs> I guess this is like happening right now. Well, yeah. we're very, well, we're very lucky. Obviously, we're right downtown, mm -hmm. like, what, two blocks, one block. It takes me five minutes to walk here from, from my house. From, from both from your room. dorm and your classrooms, mm -hmm. right? Um, and Think Tech Hawaii, we're a very small nonprofit, but we believe very highly in, in education and our role in helping the community, both uh, training journalists, training media uh, production people. And so we've had interns over the last several years, and we've had some from middle school, mid pack We had them from public high schools here, Kalaheo and uh, St. Andrews Priory, and we've had them from colleges. We've had some. We've had one from HPU last year and uh, one from UH. So we really appreciate and enjoy having interns here because it gives us an opportunity to share what we know to expose new bright young people into a, a community of, of opportunities that may not otherwise be available to them. And you also help us by providing us some support that we really appreciate. So tell us what you do as an intern. Um, so I am an intern, but I usually do stage manager stuff. I don't really work on the TriCaster all that much. So when what the, is the TriCaster? The TriCaster is the main device that has all of the different cameras and everything hooked up so when we do the shows the shows are live so the the images you're seeing are coming straight from the cameras but they're not re being recorded on the cameras they're being recorded on the TriCaster and then being synchronized into the different positions that the different cameras give us so are you learning the TriCaster too um, I know about the TriCaster I haven't really worked on it but okay. that's something I would definitely love to do if okay. you want to okay train you yes so what are you doing as stage manager um, what so does that mean so stage manager the the guests and the hosts walk in um, I greet them offer them water tell them where the restroom is if they need it um, I bring them in have them set all their stuff down make sure their phones and all their devices are off which doesn't always happen which is unfortunate because they go off during the show and that like it just it ruins the quality of the show but it's you, there's nothing you can do about it um, we bring them over here to where you and I are now sitting in front of our beautiful green screen. Um, mic them up, get the host's earpiece in, 
um, focus all the cameras and make sure that the, the proper distance, because like you don't want one shot to be up in someone's face. You want it to all be level and look organized that way. Whoever's working TriCaster can easily throw shots up whenever they need them. What about lighting? Um, the lighting here pretty much stays the same. It's just a matter. Um, uh, it's just a matter of turning it on and off. We have. We don't really have to refocus the lighting. Okay, and I, I know there's a teleprompter. Mm -hmm. So every now and then we'll have a a host that that wants to use a teleprompter, or we also have um, commentaries. And so for commentaries, we will also use the teleprompter. So the teleprompter is on a laptop, and it has its own little app. You just copy and paste the the words that you want to use on the teleprompter into the little app thing and you just go on the, the laptop and you just scroll it as the person reads. So it helps the host, it helps the host. to read whether it's an introduction or going to break or summarizing. Right. Yeah. Um, that one that one was a little tricky at first. That was I do it and it's still a little bit choppy now, but I'm definitely getting better at it the more that I work with it. Right. So okay. yeah. So tell us about the file maker. What is that? Um, so FileMaker is the system that we all we all use. We sign. Um, that's where we sign the guests and the host. And it's also it's um, a software. Yeah, it's the it's the software. Jay coded Jay our CEO coded it himself. Um, and so what it does is it keeps track of everyone that comes in and out. Keeps track of whether shows are canceled, what time they're gonna be at. Um, where they're going to be at because we upload all our shows onto YouTube so it has it'll have the playlist it's going to be under and then at the end of the night after the shows have been uploaded to YouTube the link will be there and then we easily just you, you click a button and it sends an email thanking the the host and the guest and it'll have the link to their their YouTube their YouTube video mm -hmm. and so every night the uh, host and the guest can see yeah the they, show that they receive the the video the with it. That's the that's one of the other things I do as as stage manager. When people come in, I'll sign them in, and um, we also need when when we sign people in, we need their title, their email, and their phone number. The email and the phone number are just for for us, but the title is what's displayed on on the screen. So like when you see like my name and and that I'm a student and that I work at at Think Tech, that's <laughs> see that was in FileMaker. Um, <laughs> So it's it's where it's a like our database pretty much. It's where we keep all the little things and what we work off of. Right. Okay. Great. Well, we're going to go to break, and when we come back, I want to talk a little bit more about maybe the people skills that are necessary, and we've talked about some of behind the, the scenes work as an intern, and then we're going to talk a little bit about in front of the camera possibilities. Okay. okay. So my guest here today is Brianna Vidas, a HPU Hawaii Pacific University freshman who is also a Think Tech Hawaii spring intern with us. Uh, this is Education Matters, and I'll be right back. This is Think Tech Hawaii, raising public awareness. You can be the greatest, you can be the best, you can be the king, come banging on your chest. You can beat the world, you can beat the war, you can talk to God, go banging on his door. You can throw your hands up, you can beat the clock, you can move a mountain, you can break rocks, you can be a master, don't wait for luck, dedicate yourself and you can find yourself. Hello everyone, Ted Ralston here, a host of our Think Tech show, Where the Drone Leads, where we talk weekly at uh, Thursdays at noon, by the way, on subjects related to the emer emerging technology and business of drones, as they might apply here in Hawaii. Uh, issues involving commerce and education, legislation, uh, technology, public safety, all the things that you might want to hear about. Uh, we talk about them with uh, local experts and people from across the country. So join us at uh, noon on every Thursday, and we'll have a new subject, and we'll have uh, new faces to talk about this most interesting subject area. Uh, welcome back. This is Carol Mon Lee on Education Matters at Think Tech Hawaii. And I have a special show today on externs, or actually interns, and uh, the experience of our spring intern, Brianna Vides uh, from HPU. Welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> so we were talking a little bit about some of the behind the scenes skills that you're developing as an intern here at ThinkTech. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me about people skills that you might have had to uh, focus on and learn. 
people skills here are really important because you have tons of people coming in every single day, whether they're a host or they're a guest or just someone that's, that's thinking about hosting or guesting, just talking to people, making them feel comfortable, making them feel welcome. Um, it's, it's also, you also have to be respectful because there's a bunch of different people from different walks of life and sometimes they'll share their opinion about something and you don't necessarily agree with that opinion <laughs> so it's there's moments i can remember specific moments where i've had to like smile and i'm like yeah oh my gosh i feel that same way too <laughs> and i'm like lying through my teeth i'm like please don't scream at them right now please don't like <sighs> so Obviously, when you're dealing with people, there's always going to be those moments that you have to be careful and watch yourself with. But for the most part, everyone that comes in is really lovely. I just, I just make them feel welcome and at home. Comfortable. Yes. Right. Okay. That's okay. that's our big thing here. Is we want to make the people that come in feel comfortable and welcome because then maybe they'll come back or they'll they'll let someone else know they'll reference us to somebody else like hey i had this really great experience you should go on one of their shows you should talk to such and such person and you should do this and that well what we want is of course the guest the host typically has had experience of mm -hmm. course in front of the camera but often the guests may have never been in front of our live camera um, we want them to feel comfortable be willing to share their experiences or whatever their t the topic is but we want them also to feel proud enough to push that the the video out there so that their friends and family and everybody can can watch it so that we get a lot of views and so we can spread the word. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Right. So um, I know with that, like we have some people that come in and they're, they're really nervous. We're like, breathe, relax, it'll be fine. It's just a really casual conversation. Every mm -hmm. That's the other thing that I've noticed is when we describe to other people what it is. Um, even when, when I was talking to um, the lady that I'm going to interview, I was like, don't even worry about it. It's going to be a really casual conversation. Just don't pretend that anything else is happening. And so that's what we always tell people when they come in. It's like, you're having a casual cup of coffee with this person. Don't, don't worry about any of the other scary stuff. Right. Well, that leads us right into, so now we've talked a little bit about the behind the scenes experience as an intern. And now we're going to go in the next few weeks that you have left in your internship in exposing you to being in front of the camera today as yeah. a guest. <laughs> and you're going to actually host your own show. Yes. And tell us about that show. Who's going to um, be your guest and what's the topic? Okay. So, um, as you said, this was like my first step. Like, it, it was getting me out there. But the next step is going to be... Um, Hosting, hosting a show, and so when I was going, when I was racking my brain trying to decide who I was going to invite, there was a, a lot of people that I originally thought of inviting, but I was like, I want to, there's a lot of things that are happening in this community that are really important to me, so I wanted to shed a light on that. So um, my, this semester, I am taking a computer science class, and um, is that your minor? Did I? Yeah, that's one of my minor. I have a couple of stuff. Uh -huh. I have a lot of stuff going okay. on that I'm trying to work out. But uh, one of my minors is computer science, and so um, my professor, the first day of class, it was she, you could tell there was she was telling us about this website. I don't remember exactly what it's called, but you, it's like a hub for people. Um, to go to and they can write code or, or they can donate materials and what it is is it's this hub for prosthetics so you can donate time money energy brain power whatever you can to these people that are trying to put the parts together to give prosthetics to people who need them and so she was so passionate she was so excited about this and the crazy thing is before I decided I wanted to um, be a multimedia cinematics major I actually wanted to be a uh, a biomedical engineer and work in prosthetics. Mm. So I was like, this is perfect. And so I looked into the website and I did some research on that. I was like, this would be great, but I don't have the proper knowledge yet to really contribute what I need to. So I was like, okay, I'll go through the class and then after that, like, I'll start like doing it more. Um, and so uh, maybe she, she mentioned it again, like- And what's her couple, name? Um, Gabriela Ortigas, uh -huh. yeah, she's a she's a computer science professor here at HPU, and so um, a couple of days later she mentioned it again, and she was talking about how she's gonna have this club. She last semester she did um, girls can code, and this semester she was using that same group of girls, but instead of doing girls can code, she was gonna um, have them do three D printing, and she was gonna 
her end goal for this club is by the end of when this like maybe a couple of months to have like a prosthetic arm ready to go and wow. through that same hub to be able to send it to somebody else. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of what she was working on. And I was like, that'd be amazing. I would love to help out with, with that. So I asked her, I was like, is there any way I could join your club? Because I knew that it was kind of a club for, for like high school kids and younger. So I was like, maybe I can like, I'm, a, I'm still a freshman in, in college. I'm like just a little bit older than you. Maybe I can slide in there real smooth like, but um, she was like, actually, I would love you. You could come, ha uh, could come hang out with us. Like, help me, like, teach the girls how to code and everything, because you're going to be taking my coding class. And I was right. like, that would be great. I would love to do that. So she and um, when she bought the printer, I was originally helping her put it together. So I started helping her put a 3D printer together for this club. Um, and so we're getting. She's getting that finished right now. I think she's almost done with it. But, uh, so yeah. is this what you're going to, she's your guest? Yeah, she's my guest. This is what we're going to be talking about. So there's going to be a lot more promoting and such of going course. on. But, um, that sounds so yeah, exciting. I'm really excited about it. And do you it. know the date of your show and the time? Yes, it's going to be April 26th at 1 p.m. With Professor? With Professor Gabriela Artigas. From HPU, from who HPU. is a computer She's, she's a computer Your science, science teacher. teacher. Yeah. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. So now with your experience here at, at ThinkTech, both behind the scenes and now you're going to be in front of the camera, how has that affected what you might think of doing in the future in terms of your major, your minor, or career goals, maybe your summer jobs? Um, it's actually, it's, it's a different take from what I originally wanted to do professionally. So when I was going into um, cinematics, what what I wanted to do originally was to do animation, and I actually still want to do animation, but it, this has definitely opened my eyes to looking at other sides of it. So for... Um, yeah, we don't do any animation. <laughs> yeah, we, we really don't. <laughs> um, but for, for like summer jobs and stuff, I've been looking to and applying to like different like newscasting stations and stuff like that because I know how to do this kind of stuff. I know how to work with, with live audiences and, and live, you know, live shows and such uh, so back in california yes back okay. in california right but you're going to come back to hpu yes. in the fall yes okay. and um i will be back in in the fall mm -hmm. to help you guys out some more thank and you i know um jay wants my help to keep doing um the videoing stuff using the live view and such right so this has been a positive experience yes so tell me about some of the challenges that you felt that you maybe wish you could have had more time to learn about or uh, you might want to give advice to future interns about how they can best take advantage of this opportunity? Um, I think you just have to go for it. Every, everything when you think about it, you're like, oh my god, that's going to be so difficult. And then you do it and it's, it's not nearly as difficult as you think it is. Um, in the beginning, it's going to feel a little bit overwhelming because there can be a lot of like not memorization, but it's stuff that you have to remember to do and what order to remember to do it, because if not, things can kind of be thrown off track. And I'm still learning new things all the time. Like, um, Well, let's talk a little bit about the staff who's helping you, because I'm not behind the camera at all. So <laughs> we have some wonderful staff people who've been training our interns. Hi, Ray. <laughs> so you're here, you've been here five days a week, right? Yes, I have. So you have Every day, there's almost every day you have somebody different helping you. Mm -hmm. So um, on Mondays, we have Ray on TriCaster, and then Rob and Brandy are in the doing um, stage manager with me. Um, Tuesdays, it's me and Rob doing stage manager, and then. And Ray's Ray doing TriCaster. Tri right. And okay, then Wednesdays. Um, and then Wednesdays is me and Ray doing stage manager, and then it's Rich doing TriCaster. And then Thursdays, it's me and Cindy doing stage manager, and then it's Ray doing TriCaster. And then on Fridays, it's me and Cindy doing stage manager, and it's Rob doing TriCaster. Right. Well, I think what that <laughs> tells our audience, audience right. right, is that we have a lot of people here, but. Um, so the good thing, I think, as an intern is you get exposed to a lot of different styles and yeah, um, a, sure. uh, learning from each of them in their own way, in the mm -hmm. way they teach and, and learn. In, uh, uh, so we think that's good. So t let's talk a little bit about the content of our shows, because you've been really 
uh, being here five days a week, you get to see up to 30, 35 shows a week. Mm -hmm. So tell us, what, is, what have been some of the interesting shows, the interesting hosts, and the interesting <laughs> topics? Remember, we said we're going to keep this yes. clean. <laughs> we're we're, we're going to keep it light. So, yeah. um, I don't really have that much to complain about, though. Oh, even no. If, even we want if you we to were to like, go a little compliment. darker with it. Yes. yes. No. Um, no complaints. <laughs> um, <laughs> what have you found stimulating in terms of, uh, if you mentioned earlier, topics that you may not have actually thought about before. So what are some of those topics or speakers or guests that you might have um, so wished you had more? Here we yeah. have so many like different shows and a lot of times they're about like, just like, it's, it's like a random hodgepodge of just like different shows about different things. Mm -hmm. um, it's really interesting because I always get into like the really political shows, which I never thought of myself as a political person, but like I see these people get really fired up and then I want to get really fired up. And so like I learn all these like weird political things, especially from Jay's show. Jay, Jay has interesting things going on in his show. <laughs> um, I also learn a lot from R.B. Kelly because I feel like but I don't know. It's something that I want to learn. It's always good to learn how to And R.B. show yourself. is about? Her, her show is, it's, it's about body language. Mm -hmm. I believe that that's mm -hmm. what it's mainly on. That's mm -hmm. what the shows that I've seen mm -hmm. are mainly, right. mostly about. Um, so it's, it's important to know how to present yourself in a way that's welcoming towards others, especially like working here, that I have to do that every day. Right. Um, you, you have to learn how to not be shy and like all inside yourself, right. like, hi, I'm gonna hide in the corner over right. here. Um, and so I've learned a lot from her show. Um, well, it's just I, the, the nice opportunity, the wonderful opportunity you have to uh, hear so many different speakers, guests, and uh, different topics. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we're almost done. Okay. And what I wanted to do was first thank you so much, Brianna, for being our spring intern. We've really enjoyed having you. We look forward to you coming back someday. We look forward to a career that you might have in the future, either before the camera or behind the camera. Uh, and I'm going to give you an opportunity to speak right into camera four and to tell our audience something about um, internships. Hello there, people. Um, OK. I want to talk about internships now. So you have about the, 30 seconds. Oh, OK. This is going to be quick. So there's not a lot to it. You just come, you learn, you do the best thing you can. It's, it's a great learning experience. The, the internships that you do will lead to different paths. Like right now, I'm, I'm floor manager, but I'm also learning how to be the cameraman for on the street, which is when we go out and we talk to people on the street. So it can lead to a lot of different things and lead you to a lot of different places. It gives you good information in, in just like all fields in general. And it will also help you in other aspects of your life. It'll also help you moving forward in your career and such. Like I said, this is helping me get a, a nice summer job doing different things. So, OK. Yeah. Well, on that note, thank you so much, Brianna, for spending some time with us. We look forward to watching your show at the end of the month. <laughs> and uh, if any of you are interested in becoming an intern at, Spring, at Think Tech Hawaii, please do contact us, 374-2014, and I'll be sure to get back to you if you leave me your name, your phone number, and an email. Uh, and in the meantime, we thank Brianna Vides for being our spring intern again. And on behalf of Think Tech Hawaii and our staff, aloha. We'll see you next time. <laughs>